All right, everybody. Uh, welcome to class this hour. Uh, we are going to be talking about uh, voiced and unvoiced S sounds. All right, and also uh, pluralizing uh, pluralizing words uh, when we uh, have an uh, es at the end, when we only have an s at the end, uh, when uh, we don't put anything at the end. Okay, so we'll be talking about those and uh, also how we pronounce those uh, those words that have uh, an s at the end, because sometimes uh, sometimes it's 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 hard to know, and so uh, we have some rules that we'll go through, and uh, we'll uh, we'll take a look at that. Okay, uh, the uh, first uh, the first uh, link that we're going to be looking at. Let me open this up quickly. Okay, are going to be our our rules, our rules of plural. Okay, uh, let's see who we have in class so far. How you doing, Amparo? Hi again. Hi, welcome back. How you doing? I'm doing well. Excellent. Good to see doing you. Well, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Very good. All right, and let me get this here. All right, so our first link that we're going through on Pato is this one right here. Okay, so uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and open that up. And we'll see if the other uh, people that reserved the class are going to be coming in. Um, so yes, this is uh, this, this is what it looks like. Okay, so uh, we'll be talking about uh, rules of the regular and irregular plurals. Okay, uh, when we pronounce uh, uh, when we pronounce the s okay as a z and when we pronounce it as a uh, an s sound. Okay, because there's uh, different times. So we'll go over our our rules here and then into the voiced and unvoiced uh, sounds. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, let's uh, take a look here at our first box. Okay. And this is uh, this is pretty simple. Okay. Uh, our first one is pretty simple. Uh, go ahead and uh, and read through uh, for most nouns. Just add s. Go ahead and read through this uh, this ta this table. For most nouns, just add s. Singular. Hand. Plural. Hands. Rabbit. Rabbit. Key. Keys. Clock, clocks, football, footballs, door, doors. All right, very good. Now, uh, on to our next one here. All right. So for nouns ending in s, x, z, c, h, s, h, okay, we add the e, s. All right. Let's go over how we pronounce these. Okay. Go ahead and read the uh, the plural form of these these words and ending in uh, uh, e, s. Oh, wait a minute. I cannot see your screen. Okay. Ch. So these here? CH, CH or uh -huh. SH at ES. Singular box, plural boxes. Fit, pitch, pitches, wish, wishes. Boss, bosses, buzz, buzzes, glass, glasses. Okay, very good. So, when we have this uh, this e e sound here, okay, uh, mm -hmm. that's definitely when we are going to pronounce that z, saying is. Okay, boxes. All right. Um, now we have. Yeah, we have some other times when we have an e at the end of the word, and we don't pronounce that is sound. Okay, so yes, when it ends with an S, X, Z, C, H, or S, H, okay, that's when we pronounce that Z sound, is, okay, glasses, all right, uh, let's see here, uh, Hamdi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent, welcome to class, good to see you. Thank you, me too. Very good, and Hamdi, uh, let me have you uh, read through these uh, these singular words, okay? So, or sorry, these uh, singular and plural forms. So, for some words ending in o, we add es as well, okay? And these would be some of those words. Uh, please read through this chart. Okay. Potato, potatoes, tomato, tomato, 
Tas Heru Herus Ichu Echos Banjo Banjo Banjos. It's true. All right. Okay. Uh, almost, almost. Let's practice some of these. So this one here is going to be potatoes. Okay, we still want that O to sound. Potatoes. Try that. Yeah. Potatoes. Good. All right. And this would be tomatoes. Tomatoes. Excellent. This one here would be heroes. Heroes. Good. Okay, now in this word, the CH makes a K sound. The word is echoes. Echoes, yeah. Good, good. Just like that. And this would be banjos. Banjos. Good, good. Nice job. Okay. All right, so um, the plural of many words ending in O can be spelt with uh, an S or ES. All right, this is correct. Uh, you may see uh, some words like these here. Where they, where they only add the S, and they do not have the ES there. Um, Amparo, uh, let me have you read through uh, this next chart here over on the right. Okay, words ending with, with an O and adding only an S. Okay, shello, shellos, disco, discos, herdo, herdos, logo, logos, padios, padios, photo, photos, piano, pianos, uh, radio, radios. Good, good. Now this first word here would be cellos. Okay, this is a uh, an instrument, cello. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. All right, let's go to uh, the uh, plural form of words ending in f. Okay, and when we when we uh, change that f to a v. All right, we change that from an f to a v, and we add an es. Okay, so let's uh, let's try this here, Hamdi. Yeah, I'm Hamdi. Here. Let me have you uh, read through this uh, this chart here. Okay. Okay. Half, half is loaf, loaf is elf, elf is leaf, leaf is cell, self is shelf, shelf is vef, vef is wolf. Wolf is. Okay. Now, the ES, the only time we actually pronounce that ES is when it follows an S, X, Z, C, H, or SH. That's when we say pitches, wishes. All right. But when we add the ES here, we only pronounce the S. When we add the ES here, we only pronounce the S. So let's uh, let's try some of these words, Hamdi. Okay, the first word is halves. 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 Good, good. All right. Let's go to leaves. 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 Excellent. Okay. Let's go to shelves. 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 Good. And thieves. Thieves. <laughs> Thieves. Okay, good. One more time. Thieves. Thieves. Good. Thank you, Hamdi. Thank you very much. All yeah. right. Very good. And Edwin, welcome to class. How are you? Hi. And you? I'm doing good. Welcome to class. Uh, Edwin, um, let me have you read through this next chart. All right, about uh, switch when words end with an F, we just add an S, okay? With these words, these are the most common words that we use when switch when uh, just adding an S, okay? These are the others where we add, uh, we switch the F to a V and add an ES. So, Edwin, uh, please read through this, uh, this chart, okay? This one right here. Okay. Chef. Chef. Red, roof, chefs, shift, roofs, roots. Okay. All right, good. So let's practice here. So you are correct. This is pronounced chef, but this would be chefs. Chefs. Good. Cliff, cliffs. Cliffs. Good. Ref, refs. Reps. 
Good. Um, let's see. Roof. Roofs. Roofs. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's go here to uh, some other words that uh, we switch from an F to a V and only add the the S because the E is already there. All right. Okay. Um, let's see here. Alexi, how are you? Hello. I'm fine. Great. Great. Excellent. How, Good to have how, you in class. Thank you. How it's hanging? Hanging? How it's? Hanging. How's it? How's it hanging? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hanging good, man. Hanging <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, let me have you uh, read through this chart here, Alexi. Okay. So, talking about some words when they end with an F, we switch the F to a V and add an S. That's how we make it plural. All right, so let's try this, okay? Go ahead and read through this chart. Wife, wives, w wives, life, lives, knife, knives. Okay, so this would be lives. Okay, Lime. life, lives. Lives, z or, or s. I don't um, know. That's, that's going to be a voiced s, lives. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Lives. Exactly. Lives. All and right. Lives and knives. Exactly. Very mm -hmm. good. Thank you. All right. Okay. So our next one um, for common nouns that end with a consonant plus y. We change the y to an i and then add es. All right. Now uh, the y here. Notice, if this word is poppy, the Y would, and that Y makes an E sound, we would use the same E sound here. But if this word is fly, okay, we would follow that same I sound into the plural. Okay, that does not change. Amparo, let me have you read through this, uh, this uh, chart, singular and plural with common nouns ending with a Y. Amparo, can you hear me okay? Yes. There you go. Oops. I cannot see the screen. Yeah, it, it popped out. Okay, there we go. All right, go ahead and, uh, and read this. Okay, for common nouns that end with consonant plus Y, change the Y to an I and then add ES. Poppy, poppies, fly, flies, penny, pennies, spy, spice, nappy, nappies, sty, stice. Good, good. Yes, so class, notice, sty, spy, fly, all right? We use that same I sound, flies, spies, and styes. We did not, uh, we did not change that to stees or spees and fleas. All right, it would follow that same I sound. Same thing with poppy. Poppy, poppies. Okay, nappy, nappies. Okay, that Y, if, it's, if it ends with an E sound, we follow the E. If it ends with an I sound, we follow the I. Okay, all right, let's go to uh, some nouns that are, that, are the, that are the same, both singular and plural forms. Okay. Um, this would be for Edwin. Edwin, please mm. read through this chart. Okay. And singular, fish, fish, ship, ship, deer, deer, tuna, tuna, salmon, salmon. Truth. Truth. Okay, so these would be for salmon and trout. Let me have you read those last two words. Salmon, trout. 
and and okay uh, Edwin please repeat the last two words it is salmon and trout please repeat those and salmon and trout good yes salmon, salmon and trout the L is silent. Yes, the L is the L is silent, Edwin. Huh? The the L in salmon is silent. Okay, we don't say salmon, it is sa salmon. Salmon. Good. And this word is trout. Trout. Good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. And all right. So our next uh, chart here. Okay. For, for some nouns. Okay. We change other letters or just change the word completely. All right. So here we're going to uh, uh, like uh, the singular person, plural people. Okay. The word changes completely. All right. Hamdi. Yeah. Let me have you read through this chart, please. Okay. Uh, person, people, child, children, ox, oxen, food, heat, tooth, teeth, ghost, geese, mouse, mice, blouse, lice, man, men. Okay, excellent. All right, you guys. Uh, do you have uh, Do you have any questions so far? Do you have any questions for me? Excellent. Okay. Um, I do want to uh, take a look here uh, at uh, at some exercises. Okay, we can practice the the plural. All right, and I wanted to. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to practice um, the plural sounds here in uh, in a couple documents that I have. So changing words from singular uh, to plural or from plural to singular. Okay. Um, let's go to um, our first document. All right. Um, okay. The uh, the link is here in the chat box. Okay. So go ahead and uh, and open that up, you guys. All right, and uh, we'll start off with Alexi over here on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, the goal here is we are going to be converting. Um, we're going to be converting either a singular word to a plural word or a plural word to a singular word. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so uh, with number one. Okay, go ahead and read number one, and how would we change that to uh, to a plural? I don't know what does it mean, but uh, uh, offspring, offsprings, yes. Good. All right, offspring and offsprings. Excellent. Okay. How about uh, how about number two? This is for Amparo. Hey. Can you hear me? Hey there. Yep, I can hear you now. From number six. Um, number number two here. Okay. Club. Clubs. Okay, so club and clubs. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Uh, let's go to uh, Edwin. Here. Number three, please. Window and uh, windows. Okay, window windows. Very good. Uh, let's go to number four. Uh, 
and this is for Hamdi. Yeah. Staples. Staples. Staple. Okay, this will be Staples and Staple. Okay, so you'll need to remove the S. If it is, if it is already a, uh, a plural, re uh, change that word to a singular form. Okay, so we have Staples and Staple. Okay, how about uh, number five? This is for Alexi. Whiteboards. Whiteboard. Do. Do. Yes. Do, do. I have a problem with uh, S and uh, the. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know when uh, I should pronounce that and where I should pronounce it. The uh, the S yeah uh, I have uh, at the uh, at the end here okay after we go through uh, um, uh, some of these I'll go through some rules of when to know when we pronounce a uh, a word like a uh, a voiced a voiced S and an unvoiced S okay mm -hmm. um, all right so uh, yes this would be whiteboards all right when uh, when you make a word into a plural. Okay, that S at the end is always going to be a uh, voiced S. Okay, with the Z sound, it'll always be that voiced S. Okay, um, B is voiced, so I must uh, say whiteboard Z. Whiteboards. Yes, whiteboards. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So D because it is voiced, that S is now going to be voiced. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so when an S follows an unvoiced sound, that's when that's when the uh, the S is then a um, an unvoiced S. Okay, and maybe so, maybe uh, similar to past tense, if uh, if the word is ending in S or Z, uh, I should pronounce is is yes is is in the ending. If uh, if it ends if it ends with a, an X a Z so I'll show you here so uh, let's come up to the top here if it ends with an S an X a Z C H or S H that's when we pronounce the is okay mm -hmm. like boxes patches bosses okay that's the only time when we actually pronounce the is sound other than that we only pronounce a, an S that sounds like a Z. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, for example, stress, stresses, yes. Stresses exactly. Mm -hmm. Stresses. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Let's go to our our next word here. All right. This is for, uh, I believe, um, Amparo. I think number six is yours. Yeah. Logos. Um, logo. Okay, so logos and logo. Yep, very good. Okay, let's go to Edwin, number seven, please. This is already plural, so we need to uh, unpluralize the word. Skies, sky. Good, skies and sky. Awesome, okay. Uh, number eight, this is for Hamdi. Much is much. Good. Matches and match. Okay. Number nine. This is for uh, Alexi. Bush. Bushes. All right. Excellent. Okay. Number ten. This is for Amparo. Uh, calves and calf. Calf. Without there you go. Yeah. The L. The L is going to be silent. All right. So calves. Calves and calf. Calf. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's go to 11. 11 is for uh, Edwin. Dwarf and dwarfs. Okay, dwarves. So we would have a V there, dwarves. Dwarf. Okay, good, good. Let's go to 12. 12 is for uh, Alexi. Um. Theories, theories. And okay, so th theory. Yeah, theory. so theory and theories. Uh, you don't pronounce O, yes? You just pronounce the, the, 
theories. Yeah, theories. Theories yeah. and theory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Theories, theory. Uh, number 13. Uh, let's see, Button. this is for Amparo. Button, buttons. Okay, button, buttons. All right, very good. Um, Edwin, number yep. 14, please. Volcano, volcanoes. Vol volcanoes. Okay, yeah, that would be volcano, volcano.